joy to the world. Let every heart prepare him room. I was disturbed this week to learn about a new law signed by the governor of Texas that allows any law enforcement officer to arrest anyone they suspect of entering the country illegally. Once in custody, migrants will be forced to either agree to the judge's order and leave the United States or be prosecuted on misdemeanor charges of illegal entry. Migrants who don't choose to leave could face arrest again under more serious felony charges. The law, which goes to place in March, was immediately condemned by civil rights groups who filed a lawsuit to stop the measure, calling it inhumane and unconstitutional. And it's disturbing to see a law like this at any time of the year, but particularly troubling for me to see it so close to Christmas. When we remember the story of the birth of Jesus, a story that includes the migration of his parents, Mary and Joseph, across the border from Galilee to Bethlehem and Judea to fulfill the census decree of the empire. And then after Jesus was born, another migration from Israel to Egypt and back again. Both times they migrated for the same reason that so many come to this country from South America and other places, because of the harmful policies of their own government, out of fear of the real possibility of violence and death, looking for life and safety and opportunity, a better future for themselves and their families. Laws like the one in Texas remind me of the words of the great Thomas Merton who said, we live in a time of no room. Yet into this world, into our demented inn, in which there is absolutely no room for him at all, Christ has come uninvited. But because he cannot be at home in it, because he is out of place in our world and yet must still be in it, his place will always be with those who do not belong. Those who are rejected because they are regarded as weak those who are discredited, those who are denied the status of persons, those who are tortured, those who are exterminated. With those for whom there is no room, Christ is always present in this world. He is mysteriously present in those for whom there seems to be nothing in the world but its worst. For them, who for there is no escape except in the imagination. At Christmas, it is important for us to remember that Mary and Joseph were migrants, and that Jesus was born a migrant and a refugee, and then he grew up to call us to practice radical hospitality, and said that when we see a stranger and welcome them, we do it to him. Today, there are 30 million refugees in the world, and now there are over 40 million people who are housing insecure in America. That is more than three times what it was before the pandemic. The world needs, more than ever, people with open heads, open hearts, open hands, open homes. People who make more room in their lives and in their neighborhoods for others. Not more laws that criminalize migrants and those in search of safety and housing. The Christmas story reveals that we have an obligation to every migrant, to every refugee, to everyone crossing borders, to every person struggling for, with housing insecurity. Dorothy Day once wrote, today it is with the voice of our contemporaries that Christ speaks, with the eyes of store clerks, factory workers, and children that he gazes, with the hands of office workers, slum dwellers, suburban housewives and husbands that Christ gives. It is with the feet of day laborers and tramps that Christ walks and with the heart of anyone in need that he longs for shelter, and giving shelter or food to anyone who asks for it or needs it is giving it to Christ. This Christmas we're called to be more hospitable than the town of Bethlehem was where there was no room in the inn. We're called to be as welcoming as the animals in the manger were. We're called to welcome the stranger. We're called to make room in our hearts and in our lives for Christ and all others 
for the Christ who comes to us disguised as the suffering, the poor, the migrant, the refugee. We're called to stand against any policy or law that makes it life harder or more painful for people who are already struggling to survive. We're called to be good news. Let every heart prepare him room because where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. Amen.